I'll tell you what. Let's settle the bet. Episode four, let's get married. See what happens. Deal. All right. Hello and welcome to Outside the Box. I'm Nathan Fillion here with my co-star from Castle Stana Katik. We're going to um, ask each other some questions that you have submitted, uh, you, uh, you viewers at home. And some of these questions are going to be what they call outside the box. And Stana, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start. Okay. Because you're good at these. All right. Which career from the show, mystery writer or detective, best fits your personality? Neither. I'd really? probably be a racketeer or a criminal. Criminal. What would you steal? Um, I'd like to start off with simple things like like, like uh, large buildings in the middle of Shanghai. You'd steal the building? Yes, for sure. All right. The what, ownership of it. Where are you going to keep it? Unless, you know what, that's a detail. We don't have to worry about that. Thank you. <laughs> 56% of AOL television viewers think that Castle and Beckett should be together. What do you think? I think you're crazy. What are you thinking about? Come on. <laughs> Have we not all learned a terrible, valuable, important lesson from... Moonlighting. Jumping the shark yeah. when they all got married. So, I'll tell you what. Let's settle the bet. Episode four, let's get married. See what happens. Deal. All right. Who was your first TV character crush? There were two. All right. Um, first was Freddy from scooby dooby doo and then the second one was The Fonz from Happy Days. Everyone loved The Fonz. I kind of man crushed on him, but I always thought that Fred, because of his ascot, had you know symbolized an alternative lifestyle. No, no, no. <laughs> Didn't it? Because he had that scarf all the time? I don't know. I thought he had kind of a thing going with Valerie for a bit. Hmm. Yeah. I was big on Ginger. Ginger. From Gillian's Island. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course. Was she her lips in her lips. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Nathan. Yeah. After being on a show like Firefly. Loved it. With a huge cult following. Cult status, I'm the Pope. What's been your craziest fan encounter? Mm. I was signing autographs one time, and uh, this fan, I'll put them late 50s, early 60s, after passing through, came around from the back and started shouting, Nathan, 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 Nathan. I'm trying to deal with what, and I got the, I said, I said what, what is it? You know that nude scene you did? You should do more. And I said, that's really creepy, sir. You did a nude scene in Firefly? I showed my butt. Oh. Hmm. But now I got this 60-year-old dude saying... That was nice. That was a little odd. Mm. Maybe more than I needed. Mm. Flattered, yes, but creeped out. Kind of woo-woo. Yeah. Ascot. All right, here's a question for you. What show besides Castle that you're on right now yeah. do you think has most successfully maintained the sexual chemistry between its two leads? What do you think, Nathan? Obviously, Booze and Buddies. What is that show? <laughs> Tom Hanks, Peter Scolari, they, they, were, they, were, they were kicked out of their apartment and they had to live in a women's only building. This is they, a TV show? Yes, and they dressed as women. And? It was, the, it was electric. When was this from? Oh, late, early 80s. Okay. Brilliant. I didn't even know Tom Hanks started in TV. That's pretty big, cool. Big start in TV. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, which TV family would you like to come home to? Well, um, I would think that what would be important is A, a happy family, mm -hmm. B, a beautiful house. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go with Brady Bunch. Brady Bunch? I really like their house. They're that, really cool, that kind yeah. Of open staircase yeah, to the yeah. living room. And all those levels, right? Yeah. And then Alice. Who doesn't want to come home with Alice hanging Cooking out? Cooking food and oh. keeping it clean all the time. Yeah. That's what Giving I want. Giving words of wisdom. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. The island in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I thought that was good. Um, what is the most Canadian thing about you? I'd like to think my manners, but I'm still trying to kick uh, my Canadian accent in the word tomorrow and borrow and sorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Americans, they say tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. not tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't care there's an O there. <laughs> They're like, there's They're an like, A. Eh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's we, we loosely use it as an O. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's an A. I think that's a pretty easy thing to... Uh, be Canadian about. What's your What's your most Canadian quality? Mm, I think I say A a lot. A lot. Especially after I talk to someone up there in Toronto. Mm. I, I was never allowed that. to do that as a kid, and now I catch my parents. Really? Ooh. Wow. Okay. That was good. That was fabulous. I feel I learned a lot about you and about the viewers of AOL. And and what their, their specific interests are and what questions they have for us. It was interesting. And I'll never forget the first thing that AOL taught me. What? The sound. 
emit that sound when you dial in, you know, when you get the internet dial up sound. Oh, yeah, because you, yeah. Back in the day, yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. we did it. Yeah. All right, thanks, everybody. Thank, thank you, Nathan. You, uh, thank thanks you, for Stana. watching. Uh, thanks for watching and sending in your questions, and please be sure to watch Castle on ABC. We're really excited about it this year.